the pace of innovation in this region is incredible. It's as though the entire region has decided to leapfrog everything else, everything else in the world that's learned in healthcare to just jump to the digital transformation. So for us, we are leaning into this region, partnering with organizations to really bring about that transformation that this region is asking for. So for us, we're here, we've been here for a long time. We will continue to be here. My name is Shaz Partovi. I'm the Chief Innovation and Strategy Officer at Royal Philips, and I also run all our software businesses globally. Now, Philips' goal is to positively impact the lives of two and a half billion people every year by 2030, of which 400 million should be underserved communities. So actually, we focus a lot on improving lives of people and particularly in underserved areas. You know, a great example I can give you of the impact is, for example, when women get pregnant, they should have an ultrasound done in the first 24 weeks. The World Health Organization says you should at least have one done. But it's hard to get ultrasound training everywhere in the world. And so we partnered with the Gates Foundation and we've built an AI algorithm into our handheld Lumify ultrasound so that you can, a person with one hour of training, instead of six months of training, with one hour of training can just do six sweeps of a mother's belly and it will detect if the pregnancy is high risk or not. So actually, I think we're really focused on having a positive impact on people. And that is an example, our AI driven ultrasound in Lumify is an example of the way in which we pride ourselves and how we can positively impact the lives of people everywhere. You know, technology's role in care, so what, what, when we talk to our clinical partners, they tell us that physicians and nurses are overloaded, overwhelmed, and overworked. That you have more digital data, less people to do the work, and patients aren't getting, let's say, the care they want in a timely manner in some parts of the world. So where we see technology going is to be able to make the workflow easier for physicians and nurses to do the work they do in a simpler way. What we hear from customers, it's not just about higher resolution images, but more about ease of doing the work of caring for people and also to be able to do the care remotely to improve access to care. So where we see technology going in 24 and beyond is improving access to care through digital transformation and remote connectivity, which we're highly focused on, like our tele-ICU solution we've been doing for 20 years. And this connecting people over electronically rather than physically, I think will change the way in which we deliver care. It will make care delivery easier and as well as improve access to care globally. This is really important to us. Now, you know, one of the things I love about Philips is that we have this idea what we call co-creation. We actually have the position that you need to work with your clinical partners and work back from the problem that's at the bedside, that's, and to work back from that so that we are investing in those problems with customers, with our partners. So co-creation is a method in which we partner with a health system or a hospital, and then look at the problem space at the bedside in the clinical environment. And then they bring their clinical expertise. We bring our technology expertise. And where the two meet is where the magic happens. All over the world, in this region, but also in other parts of the world, we have health systems that are our clinical partners. We have government organizations that are our partners so that where we invest our energy, it's in actually problems that solve clinical issues that improve patient care, whether in the home or in the hospital. So co-creation is the way in which Philips solves problems with customers. Healthcare is obviously a very regulated space. And so we obviously, in any country that we're in, regulations are obviously different from country to country, from region to region. And so we, of course, focused in any nation that we're in, in any region that we're in, we comply with all the regulatory requirements. And so that just that's part of the reason why we have innovation hubs all over the world. We have innovation hubs in Europe, we have innovation hub in India, we have innovation hub in China, and innovation hub in the United States. And so part of the way in which we can accommodate and be focused on the regional subtle differences of the regular requirements is we have teams all over the world and our innovation teams are very in touch with both the clinical partners as we talked about 
but also with the local regulatory requirements so that when we meet those customer needs, it's in the umbrella of the local regulatory framework. So by being a global company, we make sure we deliver on the customer need, but also deliver it in a way that meets all the requirements. Philips has had a DNA of innovation, a heritage of excellence in innovation for years. That means we're a 133 year old company, innovation in you, it's in our DNA. So one of the things that makes it really able to build that culture is the people at Philips, the talent. You know, the people at Philips are those that come to work and are not satisfied with status quo. There are folks that ask the question, why can't it be better? So I would say really what the culture of innovation at Philips is, it's its people. It's the teams, the employees that bring this hunger and thirst for not looking at how things are, but looking at how things can be. I'll give you a really specific example. Okay, so you know Philips is known for lighting. I mean, that DNA is known. <laughs> but did you know that that same technology that we used for compact disc, for laser beam that read the compact disc, we're using that same laser beam technology to read the, a microscope slide of pathology. So this idea of using that same technology that was used for music and to innovate and say, because the problem was to make digital pathology, it was very hard to get high resolution. But the team said, what else can we do? How can we advance this? And that team was not satisfied with just saying digital pathology is hard, but then applied the light, the laser beam light from compact disc to reading a laser uh, they're reading the slide of a pathologist to create digital pathology. This is the kind of team members that are Philips. They're just hungry for innovating to solving problems. I would say that in summary, the culture is we invest in customer problems, not in our own selves. We invest in what the customer tells us is the challenge they want us to solve. That's how the culture of innovation always is focusing on moving the needle forward. It's because we focus on the customer's problems and we have people that are asking, why not? That's what makes it different. Yeah, so for us, this region, of course, the Middle East region is incredibly important. You know, one of the things you see at Arab Health here is the pace of innovation in this region is incredible. It's as though the entire region has decided to leapfrog everything else, everything else in the world that's learned in healthcare to just jump to the digital transformation. So for us, we are leaning into this region, partnering with organizations to really bring about that transformation that this region is asking for. So for us, we're here, we've been here for a long time, we will continue to be here and partner with different nations, different areas, different organizations to actually leap as they want to leap. So I think the, the, the sum total is, we are gonna move as fast as the region wants to move.